The Sayings of Limpong Tong, The God of Mirth and of Melodious Minstrels, by Lord Donsaini. And Limpong Tong said, The ways of the gods are strange. The flower groweth up, and the flower fadeth away. This may be very clever of the gods. Man groweth from his infancy, and in a while he dieth. This may be very clever, too. But the gods play with a strange scheme. I will send a jests into the world, and a little mirth. And while death seems to thee as far away as the purple rims of hills, or sorrow as far off as rain in the blue days of summer, then pray to Limpong Tung. But when thou growest old, or ere thou diest, pray not of Limpong Tung. For thou becomest part of a scheme that he doth not understand. Go out into the starry night, and Limpong Tung will dance with thee who danced since the gods were young, the god of mirth and of melodious minstrels. Or offer up a jest to Limpong Tung, only pray not in thy sorrow to Limpong Tung, for he saith of sorrow, It may be very clever of the gods, but he doth not understand. And Lim Pang Tong said, I am lesser than the gods. Pray, therefore, to the small gods, and not to Lim Pang Tong. Natheless, between Pagana and the earth flutter ten thousand thousand prayers that beat their wings against the face of death, and never for one of them hath the hand of the striker been stayed, nor yet have tarried the feet of the relentless one. Utter thy prayer. It may accomplish where failed ten thousand thousand. Lim Pong Tong is lesser than the gods, and doth not understand. And Lim Pong Tong said, Lest man grow weary down on the great worlds, through gazing always at a changeless sky, I will paint my pictures in the sky, and I will paint them twice in every day for so long as days shall be. Once, as the day ariseth out of the homes of dawn, will I paint the blue, that men may see and rejoice. And ere day falleth under into the night, will I paint upon the blue again, lest men be sad. It is a little even for a god to give some pleasure to men upon the worlds. And Lim Pong Tong hath sworn that the pictures that he paints shall never be the same, for so long as the days shall be. And this he hath sworn by the oath of the gods of Pagana, that the gods may never break, laying his hand upon the shoulder of each of the gods, and swearing by the light behind their eyes. Lim Pong Tong hath lured a melody out of the stream, and stolen its anthem from the forest. For him the wind hath cried in lonely places, and the ocean sung its dirges. There is music for Lim Pong Tong in the sounds of the moving grass, and in the voices of the people that lament, or in the cry of them that rejoice. In an inner mountain land, where none hath come, he hath carved his organ pipes out of the mountains, and there, when the winds, his servants, come in from all the world, he maketh the melody of Lim Pong Tong. But the song, arising at night, goeth forth like a river winding through all the world, and here and there amid the peoples of earth one heareth, and straightway all that hath voice to sing crieth aloud in music to his soul. Or sometimes, walking through the dusk with steps unheard by men, in a form unseen by the people, Lim Pong Tung goeth abroad, and, standing behind the minstrels in cities of song, waveth his hands above them to and fro, and the minstrels bend to their work, and the voice of the music ariseth, and mirth and melody abound in that city of song, and no one seeth Lim Pong Tong as he standeth behind the minstrels. But through the mists towards morning, in the dark when the minstrels sleep, and mirth and melody have sunk to rest, Lim Pong Tong goeth back again to his mountain land.